As a short-term trader, learning to read charts is imperative to your success as a trader. As we go through this, I'm going to explain to you how these different chart patterns can help you to time your entries and your exits. Because no matter how long you stare at a page of Chinese, until somebody teaches you how to read it, it doesn't do you any good. So it is with charts. They're a whole new language that you need to learn how to read. So let's start with one of the most basic chart patterns that you will see over and over again. And that's referred to as a channeling stock. Now a channeling stock is simply this, a stock that moves between two price points on a regular basis. Some people call this support and resistance, other people like to think of it as floors and ceilings. And the neat thing to understand here is that all stocks are channeling stocks. They just don't channel all of the time. So let me give you an example of what your charts will look like when you pull them up for the first time. You get this picture of, well, let's say here I've got a picture of the OIH, which is an oil service exchange traded fund, and you get a picture of these lines going over the place. And I want you to understand this. What you're looking at here is a line chart. And line charts are best used for drawing support and resistance and identifying chart patterns. So here's one right here. We're going to play connect the dots. So I simply move my cursor up here and look to where I can connect as many places as possible. So I look at here and I go, okay, right there. One, two, three, four, five, six times it's hit that level. That is a significant support line. Now I go up to the top of my screen and I start moving it down. Now notice I'm not taking the highest points. I want to come down here and connect as many dots as possible. So I start moving it down. Not the very highs, but right about there. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. So it's hit support and gone up, hit resistance and come back down. Now some of you are going, but wait, right here, it went a little bit higher. You're right. We're just drawing with a crayon. It's a little bit art, a little bit science, and we're just playing connect the dots. And this is a channeling stock pattern. Now, all stocks are channeling stocks, but they don't channel all the time. In fact, they go from a period of channeling here until they go on to what's called a breakout. So it's hit resistance, and instead of going down, it starts to go up and might set up a new type of chart pattern known as a trending stock. Now, this little turn of phrase, the trend is your friend just like lanes on a freeway, we want to play connect the dots. Now if a stock is trending bearish, that means the highs are getting lower and the lows are getting lower, so it's heading down. And a bullish trend is the highs are getting higher and the lows are getting higher as well, so it's trending up. Now as I'm drawing my lines here, I give a little bit more emphasis in a bearish trend to my resistance line. And when I'm looking at my bullish trends, I give a little bit more significance to my support line. Let's take an example. So we've got the same chart here. Let's just move forward a little bit. And we come here. This was our resistance line here, but we're going to come over here and take a trend line. So we'll take these lows right here and just play connect the dots. And I'll double click here and move this up and put another lane on the highway and just playing connect the dots. So here I have a channeling stock, and then it transitions into a bullish trending stock as it heads up. And that is a trending stock. And you can see as it went up and hit resistance, came back, tested support, and kept going. Hit resistance, came back, tested support, and kept going. And that is a bullish trending pattern. Now, let's move on to a pennant. A pennant is simply a stock where the highs are getting lower and the lows are staying about the same, and that is a descending pennant. And the opposite is also true of an ascending pennant. Because stocks, they got to go somewhere, and as they build pressure, they want to break out either higher or lower, and so we're going to go in and look for a pennant-type pattern. And I'll just go ahead and delete these lines. There we go. So we'll come in here 
and the first thing I see here is a significant support line right there. But you'll notice that the highs are getting a little bit lower. So this is a descending pennant as it comes in between these price points. And as it builds pressure, building pressure, building pressure, comes down towards this apex and drops. And that is a descending pennant. So all we're doing is playing connect the dots. Now another significant pattern that I want to draw your attention to is a head and shoulders pattern. Now this can either be a bearish reversal pattern or a bullish reversal pattern. All right. So now the thing about a head and shoulders is that they take a little bit longer to set up. But when they set up, they can I help to identify significant price moves. Now the important thing when I'm looking at a head and shoulders pattern is the neckline. And when it breaks that neckline, that's when it gives us our time to enter the trade. So let's go back into our charts and identify a head and shoulders pattern. So we're back here on the same candidate here and we're just going to slide, well, there's one that just pops off the screen right here. Right here I have my left shoulder, head, and right shoulder. Now this right here is the neckline. So it came here and tested it, went higher, came here, tested it, went a little bit higher, and then when it broke that neckline we had a very significant downward trend. And we could do the same thing with our trend lines. We can just go ahead and snap those trend lines as well. And so this is a head and shoulders pattern. The same thing holds true for a reverse head and shoulders. They're not always that pretty, but we might come in here and look for some additional reversal patterns. And you'll see these happen over and over and over again. But once you learn to recognize them, they can really help you out in your trading. But I also want to draw your attention to this right here. Don't overthink it. All we're doing in our charting is playing connect the dots. The more dots that you connect, the more significant the price point is at that line of scrimmage. So you have to understand that as we go in and we do this, it is part science in that we're looking at a history of repeating itself, but it's also part art in that you might draw your line a little bit higher or a little bit lower, and you'll get more confident with the skill set of charting as you move forward. Just get in and start snapping lines and looking for those chart patterns, support and resistance, reversal patterns, pennants, and head and shoulders. Check back later at FundedTrader.com as we dig a little bit deeper into fundamental analysis, but it all begins with drawing the lines.